Hey, welcome back to my channel Skillset Go and welcome back to video tutorial on Rx Java. So in the previous video we have seen a simple example to demonstrate Rx Java and what is Rx Java and the basic components observable observer and the connection between two observable observer is subscription. We have created an observable, we have created an observer and we subscribed observer to observable. And observer compulsorily should have a methods on subscribe, on next, on error and on complete. So that observer can do its own action when it receive when we subscribe, when the item is received, when an error occurred in observable and on completion of emitting data by observable. So if you execute this example, we will get an output 1358 which is printed by observer. So we are receiving an integer and printing output as you can see subscribed which is this function and all data one by one it will call on next method passing the value and completed so up to now we have created observable observer and subscribed but we have not yet unsubscribed observer from observable so if we unsubscribe observer to observable then we no more receive any events from observable any events whether it is data whether it is completed event or whether it is error event no, no nothing we will get so if you are not unsubscribing then there will be serious problems in android project so the normally rx java is used to update an event by observer when observer receives since an event suppose let's say on receiving an event this observer is updating an activity an ui updating a UI main activity so at that time suppose before updating this main activity the main activity got destroyed then that time it will try to update a UI which is get destroyed so that time it will create a serious problems so while destroying an UI we need to destroy an observer as well it means we need to unsubscribe from observable so that we won't receive any events from observable otherwise we are trying to update an UI which is already destroyed. So in this video, we will see how to unsubscribe from observable. So we will use a disposal object. As you can see here on subscribe, we are receiving a disposable object. So with using this disposable, we, will, we can unsubscribe from observer, from observable to observer. For demo purpose, let's immediately unsubscribe. So dispose is used to unsubscribe from observable so previously we are getting all this data after subscription so here whenever we subscribe we are immediately getting unsubscribe so we won't get any events like data events or completion events or error events let's execute and see the result we should get only on subscribe event no other event because we are unsubscribing here so as you can see here we have got a subscribed event to the observer and we are unsubscribing it and we won't get any further events further events in the sense observable emitting data so this is a small demo example but the real example as i said is updating the ui main activity so whenever the activity get destroyed we need to unsubscribe so for that we need to unsubscribe when the activity get destroyed so we will have a disposal disposable object here and let's assign this disposable to this variable and whenever an activity get destroyed in android we will get on destroyed event so in this we can happily unsubscribe it so unsubscribed so now let's execute and see the result whether the observer is unsubscribed to observable or not so as you all know as soon as we rotate a screen the activity get destroyed and recreated again so on activity destroy this method will be called and this will be unsubscribed and we will get the output as unsubscribed let's rotate the screen and see the result
so we have rotated the screen as you can see in the logs it says unsubscribed so we are unsubscribing here and the activity as soon as we rotate it will be get destroyed and recreated again so it will again execute the on create method and it will create a same output again so the best practice is in on destroy method we have to unsubscribe all observers to all observables otherwise it leads to serious problems as i said i hope you understood this video and liked please share my channel and videos to your friends thank you for watching